Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One down. Eric Stevens, the next Pirate to hit. The top hitter in the National League entering the day. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Slapped foul. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates. When he went to Houston, everything changed. More four-seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. And he grounds one back up the middle. Peraza fires over to first. Two away. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ripped on a line to center. And makes the grab. One down. Batting second, the third baseman. Here is Glaber Torres. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Stevens makes the grab, and that's the inning. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. Second inning coming up in the Bronx. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Bader up to the plate. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Out to center, Stevens moving under this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Batting seven, the catcher, Kyle. And stepping in is the speedy Eric Stevens. Grounded out his first time. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And first offering is fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Kicks and deals. This one in the air center field. Bader should have it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. And it drops in. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that. Glaber Torres up to hit. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Now fly ball to right center. Stevens glides to his left, makes a nice running catch. That's out number two. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the end... Now Anthony bad. Rizzo First steps baseman. to the plate. 0 for Anthony. 1. He struck out swinging last Rizzo. time. And that one in the air center field. Stevens settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. The left fielder. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. 1 for 2. The designated hitter. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. 
Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. So the Yanks go in order, but they still lead it 3-1. Eric on, Stevens, now. Now the next pirate the to hit. Fielder. You talk Eric about the power and the speed Steven. together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Swing and a miss. 1-1. Oh, well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Let rip right here. Let's the go. one two. Out to short. Throw on to Rizzo. And there are two outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another. Now and here is Eric Stevens. Eric. And a little something Eric. extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. Gone! Big dog's got to eat. So he blasts one out the other way, and they add a couple more. It's 3-3. Three, three. wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure here in the bottom of the ninth one out Wilmer Defoe stepping in now for the Yankees swing and a ball popped up and it falls and now the winning run is on base one of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big... Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. A 5-3 final score in the...